Good day, students. My name is Talabi Omoni Julius. I'll be teaching you mathematics. Our topic for today is integration, part 3, a subtopic of calculus. Learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Integrate some functions using partial fractions. 2. Evaluate definite integrals. Our knowledge to combine two or more fractions together to obtain a single fraction is needed here. For instance, 1 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus x minus 6, where x squared plus x minus 6 is the LCM of x minus 2 and x plus 3. Sometimes it is useful to be able to reverse the process, that is, be able to split a compound fraction into simpler fractions called partial fractions. To reverse the above process, we have 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 1 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x plus 3. The two simple fractions on the right hand side are called the partial fractions of the fraction on the left hand side. Note, to resolve a compound fraction into partial fractions, a. The denominator must be factorized. b. The partial fraction must be in their simplest forms. c. Numerator must be of lower degree than the denominator. D. If the degree of the denominator is higher than or equal to that of the denominator, the numerator must be divided by the denominator. Forms of partial fractions. Denominator containing non-repeated linear factors, e.g. 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 1 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x plus 3. Hence, 1 plus 2x over x squared plus x minus 6 becomes a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 3. b. Denominator containing repeated linear factors. For instance, x plus 2 all over x minus 3 all raised to power 2 is equal to a over x minus 3 plus b over x minus 3 all raised to power 2. C. Denominator containing quadratic factors. For instance, the partial fraction is of the form 2x squared minus 3x plus 11 all over 1 minus x in brackets into bracket 4 plus x squared is equivalent to a over 1 minus x plus bx plus c all over 4 plus x squared d the degree of the denominator is higher than or equal to that 
of the numerator. Welcome back. Example 1. Resolve integral 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus x minus 6 into partial fraction and hence find the integrals. Solution. We need to factorize the denominator x squared plus x minus 6 first. Hence, we have x minus 2 and x plus 3. And then the integrand 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus x minus 6 into partial fraction becomes 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus x minus 6 is equivalent to a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 3. Adding the partial fractions, 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus x minus 6 is equivalent to a into bracket x plus 3 plus b into bracket x minus 2 all over x minus 2 into bracket x plus 3. Since the denominators are the same on each side of the identity, the numerators on each side are also equal. Therefore, 1 plus 2x is equal to a into bracket x plus 3 plus b into bracket x minus 2. For us to find a, we will substitute for the value of x that will make the term b becomes 0. For instance, let x be equal to 2. Hence, we have 1 plus 2 into bracket 2 is equal to a into bracket 2 plus 3 plus b into bracket 2 minus 2. 1 plus 4 equals to a into bracket 2 plus 3, which is 5, plus b into bracket 0, that is 2 minus 2. 5 is equal to 5a plus 0, making a the subject. a is equal to 1. Similarly, the process is repeated. For term A to be eliminated, we substitute x to be equal to minus 3. Hence, 1 plus 2x is equal to A into bracket x plus 3 plus B into bracket x minus 2 becomes 1 plus 2 into bracket minus 3 is equal to a into bracket minus 3 plus 3 plus b into bracket minus 3 minus 2. Therefore, 1 minus 6 is equal to a into bracket 0 plus minus 5b. Minus 5 is equal to minus 5b. Making b the subject, therefore we have b equals 1. Hence, 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus x minus 6 is equivalent to 1 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x plus 3. This is after substituting the value of a to be 1 and the value of b to be 1 in the partial fraction.
Welcome back. Definite integrals. When an integral contains an arbitrary constant c in its answer, we say the integral is indefinite. The indefinite integral of f of x is given by integral of f of x dx is equal to function of x plus c where f is an integral of f and c is an arbitrary constant called constant of integration on the other hand integrals that contain limits are called definite integrals if an expression is written as integral of f of x dx with upper and lower boundary respectively being b and a it is called definite integral where a and b are the lower and upper limits respectively definite integral can be evaluated numerically we need the following guide to evaluate an integral a find the definite integral that is f of x plus c b calculate its value at the upper limit that is f of b plus c c calculate its value at the lower limit that is f of a plus c d calculate f of b plus c into brackets minus f of a plus c which gives us f of b minus f of a note the constant c cancels out hence we omit c in our workings in summary definite integrals from a to b is denoted by the symbol integral with b as superscript and a as a subscript meaning upper and lower limits f of x dx is defined as f of x as a function of the limits a and b which is equal to f of b minus f of a example two evaluate 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3 dx with lower limits of 1 and upper limits of 2 this is y question of 2018 solution integral of 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3 dx with limits 1 to 2 is equals to x raised to power 4 over 2 minus 4x squared over 2 plus 3x all in brackets with limit of 1 to 2 which is equals to x raised to power 4 over 2 minus 2x squared plus 3x 3x with limit 1 to 2 substituting the upper and lower limits we have 2 raised to power 4 over 2 minus 2 into brackets 2 squared plus 3 into brackets 2 minus 1 raised to power 4 over 2 minus 2 into brackets 1 raised to power 2 plus 3 into brackets 1 which is equal to 8 minus 2 into bracket 4 plus 3 into bracket 2 minus bracket open 
1 over 2 minus 2 into bracket 1 plus 3 into bracket 1. Bracket close. Which gives us 8 minus 8 plus 6 minus into bracket 1 over 2 minus 2 plus 3. Which gives us 6 minus 1 no number 1 over 2. And the final answer is 4 o number 1 over 2. This has brought us to the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Assignment. Evaluate the following. A. Integral of 4x cubed plus 1 dx with limit of 1 to 3. B. Integral of 4 minus 5x all raised to power 5 dx with limit of minus 1 to 2. And C. Integral of minus 2x dx with limit of minus 4 to 2. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck.